morning and it is a good one. Oh, nice big muggy coffee. That's the fold out cup for my Tangier set. Trangia set, sorry. Uh, it's meant to hold something like 500 mil. I don't know, it's a big cup of coffee anyway. Great. Uh, last night, as always, a good night's sleep with that setup that I've got. Uh, using the bigger sleeping bag in the warm weather was great. Plenty of room to move about. Uh, and I just pulled the duvet over because that sleeping bag's nine and a half tog. And it was near enough. And last night, okay, once it, uh, once the night went on, it was blinking cold. Uh, the tent itself, uh, well, it's single skinned. When I woke up this morning, I, there was quite a fair bit of condensation. I had all the flaps open that need be, I had the door a wee bit open. So I'm drying it out, I've opened the back door and the wind, well, <laughs> hot wind. The occasional breeze can blow through it. Hmm. But I sat up quite late. I, I had the fire going. It wasn't going very well. Uh, these logs are as heavy as anything. It probably means that they're a wee bit damp in the inside. They burn out. Uh, but God knows what time they burn out. I think I had three logs on all night. And they must have burnt out. I must have got five or six hours out of them. Wasn't it a good burn. But I'm going for a drive around the day and I'll see if I can uh, drop in at maybe a supermarket somewhere and get a uh, killing dried logs. See if they're any better. Anyway, up early as usual. I, I've got my batteries being charged. Uh, nice wee cup of coffee on the trench here. Uh, I like breakfast, I like a light breakfast. I don't, it's not blinking light, is it? A tubby porridge. That's definitely no light. And I've got two marmalade rolls. No, there's nothing like it, but that's a, that's a good breakfast. But today, um, as I say, I'm going to take it easy, go for a wee drive round, get my batteries fully charged up. I... And I might have a wee party tonight. Tell the radio is very, very good tonight. Uh, there's an accordion thing on, and uh, there's a diary piping, which is always good. Yeah, I saw that. that out. Ah, uh, and I've got some kebabs, if I can get that fire working right, it better, because I want my kebabs. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go on with the day, I'm going to get stuck in about this food, and I'll let you see what I get up to later. See you later. This is my setup for this out in. We've got the mountain cattle tent, uh, the teepee, nice and big, plenty of room, went up no bother at all. Uh, first thing you see is the fire, it's one of these yours. Uh, you've saw me using them before, I'm a mass. That particular type of table is uh, quite expensive, but that is a Chinese knockoff. Uh, I believe that is a technical phrase for a copy. Uh, but that's for our fire tonight. I'm not putting up the bivy. I'm going to try and use the front of the tent the same way I'd use a bivy. It's all about carrying less and less gear. Anyway, let's get inside. And the first thing you see 
as my tripod. Now I got that tripod for 20 quid at the charity shop in Wigton. The reason it was 20 quid, usually a lot cheaper, in fact I gave them my old one, is that that is a top of the range job, lightweight, does everything, I love it. If you're ever passing Wigton, go into the charity shop. They donated between 60 and 70,000 pound to the local community last last year. Good bunch of women. They did a grand job. Anyway, let's have a look at the rest of it. Uh, the first thing you see is the table. It's one of these Anders uh, fold-out jobs. A wee bit dirty. <laughs> uh, it's been well used. <laughs> it's been with me everywhere. Right. The first bit of electronics is this old camera set up of mine. A £30 camera. That's ah, maybe a wee bit dearer, 40 Of course it comes for China. I think everything comes for China. Uh, it's been letting me down a wee bit, but it's still a good camera. And there, I've managed at long last to find a wireless mic that works with it. Now that is a great wee setup, and I'll be using it the rest of the time. At the moment, I'm using a GoPro 7. Nothing wrong with GoPros, but I prefer that old one because it's got a bigger screen. And I like the bigger screen. I'm getting older, eyesight's not so good. So I'm no knocking GoPro, I love GoPro. It's a good bit of equipment. And there is the wireless mics for that. Uh, they are uh, Rhodes. Uh, now, the GoPro and the Rhodes mics, I got them on eBay. I'm no one for buying new. You can what the price would have been new. Uh, I got these uh, a hell of a, I wouldn't say I got them for a song, but I got them for a, a nice wee discount. Quite happy with it. And of course, my big chair. You know, I like my chair. That is very, very comfortable. I saw some guys using it in a camp and I thought, <laughs> that's absolutely out of this world. Uh, padded and everything. I've got the car, so it doesn't matter. I'll have it. <laughs> now in the back, as you see with these TP tents, you kind of use the space right into the corners. So you just put everything round the side and you've got the central space. Uh, first bag's full of the stuff that I bought in the shops for here. The other bag is what I brought for the house. Uh, that's my booze and uh, there's a quarter bottle of, uh, it's no glenfiddich like it says here, it's a quarter bottle of malt whiskey that uh, needs finishing. I think I'll manage that, I, I should manage it. And of course in the sleep situation, as usual, I've got the foil mat. Great invention, pennies. And then, I've got my sleeping mat, it's just a lilo, cost about a tenner. And by the way, I was in the charity shop in Wigton the other week and I got another one for a fiver, still in the box. <laughs> a spare. Uh, but that mat, excellent. And it, if you didn't fill it up right, you can just sink into it. Uh, my sleeping bag on this expedition is... The Vango Keswick. Extra large. <laughs> 375 extra large. Uh, it's a metre wide, just under 89 centimetres or something. Uh, it's not got the, the lowest uh, for heat. And, and in fact, I found it a wee bit cold, but that's just me. Uh, so I carry... Just in case, it's nine, nine and a half talk. So it's that doofy happening that, and between the two of them, I'm going to be like toast. And of course, you have got to have the wee bottle. That wee bottle costs five or six quid, and uh, it's got attachments for females as well. Middle of the night, especially in the winter, you don't want to have to go outside if you get caught. Especially if you've been drinking, you need to get off during the night. That's handy. Get one of them. I keep telling you this, but I don't know whether you do or not. Anyway, 
that's my setup for the night. I'm going to sit in the mouth by the fire. I'll just see how it goes. But I'm looking for a good, peaceful night. No, there's nothing wrong with the Trangia. Just a uh, wee problem last night without the fire. I didn't get a chance to grill any more food and I've got a lot of stuff. I've got two nights stuff to grill. So I decided to leave the Trangia and we'll go in the grill. All you've got to remember with the Trangia is it's three elements. Meat, anything you like. Get it in, fry it, take it out. Vegetables, anything you like. Be experimental. Get them in, heat them up, get them how you want them. Put the meat back in, get it warmed up and then add a sauce. Any sauce. Chinese, Indian, British, whatever you want. That's it. No bother. That's how to cook a great meal in a transier. Anyway, I've got this lot to do. And what have we got? Uh, chicken, chorizo, kebabs. And uh, I've got a lamb steak. Harissa lamb steak. I don't know what I like it. I've no idea, but I like lamb steaks. But that's what I'm going to settle for, for tonight. I might have another set of this later on, because I think I've got some decent wood. I should be able to get the fire going later. Right, today... Oh, to the back end of the day, I watched a couple of movies. Uh, but I went for a wander round uh, Dalbeatty and Castle Douglas. Round all the charity shops in Dalby and got something to eat up in Castle Douglas and into the Tesco's and Rocos. Done my shopping for the next month. It's handy. Living out in the country is something you always do. Any chance if you're going somewhere, you buy the stuff that you need. Aye, the lot of the stuff that you didn't need. <laughs> Typical me. But, oh, that's starting to look good. But tonight, it's Saturday night. Now, Saturday night is a good night on Radio Scotland. Uh, you've got to take the floor, start at 7 o'clock for two hours. That's an accordion and fiddle music. Absolutely fantastic. All the good tunes, all the good old stuff. Aye, I'm old enough to remember them. And then you have an hour of the pipes. And it's always good pipers and good bands, it's the best. So it's a very good night. Especially if you share it with a couple of tins of gear and maybe a... Sorry, a couple of tins of black coffee. And maybe, aye. I've still got that ten year old malt lying there. I'm going to get stuck into that. Anyway, I'm going to have a good night. I'm going to have a fantastic night. I might bring you back. I don't know. I'll just see how much fun I'm having. But it's usually a Saturday night's a good night for me. Anyway, let me get into this. I'm not going to share it with you. You're not getting any of it. Nobody's getting any of it. No, even the two dogs that have been around here try to tap off me. No, this is all mine. And there's the same again in the packet. I'll see you later. Oh. Aye, it was a fine night last night. Got everything set up. Finished my barbecue. That was a but uh, something to think about there. I've never really used a barbecue before. I've never used 
charcoal before and it's got me thinking my transio is definitely now part of my kit everything's there that I need and it goes in one kit now I'm a wee bit forgetful well a wee bit I always forget something when I come out with that transio now everything's in the one kit so I know I've got all my cooking kit pros and cons you could argue a lifetime but bear in mind at the military use this type of stove in the colder weathers, in the colder countries. So it's definitely a lot of pros. I'd forget about the cons. Uh, but I'm going to think of someone using uh, charcoal. I think, how do we think about it? I've just got some ideas, but that's for the next time I'm out. But uh, last night, uh, it's probably the best three hours on Scottish radio. Uh, it's a Saturday night. You get your uh, accordion fiddle crew first for two hours. Take the floor, it's called. <laughs> Reminiscence of the Take the White Heather Clubber. <laughs> then you get an hour of the pipe music. I think it's called Peabroch. I'm not sure. But it's good music to sit and relax, round a fire. Uh, here we drink. Never have a big drink when you're out camping. It's silly. You could end up here in an accident. A wee drink. I had uh, a can of beer and what was left of the whiskey about maybe... Ah, uh, it was not all that much. Uh, but I had a good night. Crawled out of my bed. Ah, I hadn't blown the blinking air bed up right, so it was a wee bit bumpy. Uh, ended up in the chair, I overslept. <laughs> it's about 8 o'clock. Oh, it's half past 8. Usually I'm up about half 6, but overslept. Ah, but good breakfast, as you see it's shortbread time. Can you break the shortbread? Then I'll have my wee porridge and a roll of marmalade and that'll do me. I'll get everything cleaned up. I'm going to stop off at a tune on the way home. I'm at the other end of Dumfries and Galloway for where I, where I live. Um, I'll probably stop off at Castle Douglas. And uh, I'm going to look at the the barbecue charcoal situation. See if I can think something out. Uh, interestingly, I, I remember that the the Bedouins they have charcoal fires in their in their tents, and so did the original Afghani people. Uh, it's something that we've overlooked. I'm never far from a car, so it doesn't matter about weight. But we're going to give that a wee try. Uh, I don't know where I'm going next. Uh, this has been a good camp. I've enjoyed it. It's been a bloody good camp. Oh. I'm enjoying this big cup as well. Look at it. Oh, that's a, that's a cup for. It's what? A pint of coffee in the morning. Oh, that'll set you up. And of course a shortbread. Right, what am I doing next? It's where I usually say I haven't got a clue. And believe it or not, I genuinely don't have a clue. I've got so much to choose for. I've got places like this where I know the people and they say, oh, you can use our fields. Uh, I've got loads of beach camps near my hut near where I live and woodlands as well and it's all stuff that you can get into and it's stuff that other people are not using because we're so remote down here it's a great place for camping and wild camping well this isn't so wild but I could think of a whole load of places locally they say the world's my oyster 
It might be your oyster, but Dumfries and Galloway is definitely my, my oyster. There's plenty of places to camp down here, if you behave yourself, and that's the main thing. If you're out camping, then you get too drunk. I wouldn't say totally behave yourself, but like the rest of the lads say in this game, leave no mess. Anyway, I'll see you in my next wonder. Cheers. Have a good one.